This is Gigok, and you're watching Mad Lad of Culture. Hello, everyone! Welcome to Mad Lad First Pressures in Time! Woo! And yes, everyone, this is my most anticipated anime for this season for obvious reasons. As you can see, I am indeed a light novel reader. And oh my god, when they announce an anime adaptation, because you know they've been having a lot of like one of these like light novel chapters being read out by the voice actors on you their YouTube page. And let's just say I've been watching a lot of that. But now it's because of the popularity of the light novel because by the time this anime came out volume 10 is going to be on sale in japan already so you can tell that this the light novel english translation is quite far behind but oh my god man i am so looking forward to the first episode and by the way i still haven't started a volume 2 yet so volume 2 is still on like on hold for now so i finished volume 1 that's the best i can say for now but anyways oh my god guys i am so excited for this anime maybe because i'm looking forward to see my beautiful waifu isa saki man the waifu for this season my top three waifu because dude girl he's going this girl from this anime trust me she is gonna steal the spotlight for many not just because of she's beautiful she's blonde but also her personality her persona is what i call maturity man i love the moment that she shows up and she demonstrated this so persona about herself in the first volume i was already like in love with her man not like i said not just the beauty but her personality really shone strongly in the first volume and i can say for myself that for what i can see from the preview and of course, some of the leaked scenes on Twitter that this anime, or should I say the anime adaptation of the first volume is going to be so good. Very important too, because this first volume, or should I say the next three or four episodes, we're going to see how Asaki and her, you know, step, well, well I would say uh, like brother or stepbrother, and uh, it doesn't really care at this point now, but let's just say her relationship with Yuta, her new brother is going to be very interesting, man, because like, bro, guys, you can or can tell that they're gonna become a couple if you guys saw all these images on twitter and stuff but the way they build up to that very moment trust me it's gonna be really good because they're gonna spend a lot of time going through this sort of like puberty issues they're gonna spend you know living with another gender and stuff like that that is like not gonna be very you know funny and stuff that we saw from previous anime this is where they take the story of the step sibling very seriously more maturity to it and in terms of how they you know converse of the feelings for each other and most importantly how they really you know, um, talk to each other about this sort of issues and that is why I'm so excited for the first three episodes because I want to see how well they portray that scenes that were from the first volume into an anime but the problem is though since I read the light novel I don't know whether or not I want to do this as a reaction for the rest of the season I think this is best if I can be done as a, a short reaction but who knows maybe if the first episode does well then I might continue doing a reaction for this for the rest of the season but like I said, it's all down to you guys how you guys want me to create content for this. But other than that, though, I am so looking forward to checking out the first episode already, man, because I'm pretty sure the first episode should be a very spicy start in some ways. So, with that said, let's get started, Russian, shall we? Oh, there's a girl, Saki! Oh my god, we are here for some Saki greatness, man. And by the way, this is exactly how the lineup was sort of with the, this inner dialogue moment right here. And there's our main boy of the story. <laughs> he looked exactly how I imagined him to be. Well, to be honest, the lineup picture looked a lot better, but still, this is the animation style. We just have to go with it. Well, to be honest though, they are stranger when they became family, but sooner or later they start to, you know, let loose and become a couple. And when I say that, it's like get to know each other better and, you know, that's all ancient history in terms of what they said at the start of the episode. So, let's go, baby. This is what we're here for. Some some peak rising of stepbrother and stepsister relationship. Oh, here we go. The moment that we've been waiting for as Light Novel readers. The moment where he is being introduced to his new mother and sister. Or aka his new love couple. But whatever, man. So, this is the day before the meet. Oh my god. I'm, I'm very glad they actually added this because this scene add more context to the build up to it. Yep, you're getting a emoto, my boy. You are getting a sister. <laughs> oh wow, she looks so cute in that picture. And the day they meet the new family. 
Oh my god, I cannot wait to see his reaction in anime form. I say Saki this. Oh, she looks so good. The voice actor too. Oh my god, exactly the same one as we saw on the YouTube, like, you know, voice recording one. So, in other words, he he thought that she, she's still a little girl, but she's a full-grown girl. You have a same-age girl, and you know it's about to get spicy! Oh, look at them already getting along already. Oh my god, that laugh though. Dude, that laugh is literally what I need to see from Saki in this anime. Just the way that she laughs is so waifu-like already. Oh, saying ground rules already. Oh my god, she's getting straight to the point, and I love it. Usually people hold back, but she just gets straight to the point. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there we go. There we go. The most iconic line that many Latin readers want to see being said. I won't have any great expectation from you. And so I want you to do the same for me. In translation, I don't get your hopes up that just because you're my sister and you're going to treat me, you know, a different way. Just, just be normal. So just say, she used to say, just be normal to each other. So yeah. He's relieved too, to know the fact that she is not being awkward about it. She's going straight to it, man. Oh my god, dude. They already off to a really you no know, solid relationship. This is where this is where you dif differentiate it from all the step sitting anime. Is that they just talk things out, just letting each other know that we don't expect each other a lot from each other. Just get along and just be normal a family. And welcome to your brand new family with all these amazing shopping bags. Oh my god, they went super shopping, all right? And look at Saki dress, man. She have a style. I gotta say, fair play, man. Being the man of the family, carry all the girls' shopping bags. Literally what guys should be doing for any girl shopping anyway. So, oh my god, I gotta say, my boy really know how to handle girls, man. But the thing that really stood out to me, like no really, is how daring the outfit is for Saki, man. Look at the, look, look at the belly button, man. Like, holy god, and short, short pants, short. Oh my god, dude, this girl has style. I love her for that. Father, don't be cringe, man. Please, stop being cringe. <laughs> well, he tried to impress, but dude, you're so cringe, man. Uh, I'm glad they laughed it out, man. I'm just glad they actually laughed it out. Oh, wow. She literally, you know, lived in a different, like, work schedule, like, compared to her mother. Her mother can't work at night. She work in the morning. And, you know, she, they don't get to see each other a lot. So that's why she never really understand this sibling feeling. But that's all part and past for Saki as a character in this when she moved in with, you know, her new brother and stuff. So it's good to see that these two are sharing their feelings for each other at the first go. Like how they trying to like, you know, show that, you know, they trying to like share the story so that they understand each other better, which we don't see a lot in love, like domestic, you know, like step sibling anime, you get the you or you should do that later in the season. But now in this one, you just start off with that, which is really good. <laughs> Speaking for lightly, of course, yes, but like when you just meet a very beautiful girl like you. Well, if you know, you keep on speaking politely, it'll be even more awkward. So it's best to be relaxed around her. See, she's also agreeing to the relaxed atmosphere. This is why I like Saki, man. She don't like force people to like be like that. She just want him to you not know, let loose. Oh, <laughs> oh, that smile, that laugh though. Dude, she's in the top three white people for me for this season, man. Oh my god. She's like me for real, man. If I don't really hang out too much with those people, I just cut ties with them, forget about them. Only stay in contact with those who I spend more time with. And, you know, she have this proper relationship with them. So, oh my god, she and I are so alike, man. Well, I mean, it's all well to see that, you know, she and Yuta are really getting along because of this new family bond right here. But, bro, guys, before I say any more, of course, you guys can hear it because of some copyright block I have to do. So, of course, you can say, I'm trying to say is the fucking BGM, man. Oh, my God. Bro, when I read the light novel, I wasn't imagining the BGM to be this emotional. Like, 
what the hell? Why you, I'm hearing BGM straight out of like show, like movies, like I don't know, Makia or one of those Shinkai's movies or one of those dramatic movies. Like, what is going on? Why I feel like so emotional listening to the BGM for a rom com? Well, not really rom com, but a step sibling anime. Oh my god. Dude, the fact that he's a, he, she's allowing him to uh, help her unbox the box and stuff like that can lead to awkwardness and unfortunate accident. And when I say that, watch it. Here we go. Yeah! Accident. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is why you always let girl unbox themselves, man. I mean, at least she's fine with it. Uh, and now they're just the uh, brother and sister. They go to the same school. Wow, seems like he does not know that. Because, you know, they don't really talk to each other from different classes. Well, I'm looking forward to see their engagement at school and at home, but mostly at school. That's where the fun really begins, I would say. And here comes the senpai moments that I'm also looking forward to see. And I gotta say though, same voice actor as the Light Novel readout on YouTube, I love it. Well, at least he's been honest saying that she's a Beijing. Oh my god, dude. Gotta say, man, this is the one thing I like about the engagement he has with his senpai is because she and she allows him to speak his mind better. So, you know, also she has this personality that he can speak to. So you can say that she's a real good supporting character. Oh, best senpai advice right there. Just be yourself. Just be yourself, man. Do you have to overreact over in front of your beautiful sister? Huh, there's a balloon in the doorway. I don't remember seeing a balloon written out in the light novel. I mean, maybe that's some extra fun detail. Do some, maybe some Easter eggs. Oh, she stay up late. Just to wait for him to come back. Oh, this is so cute, man. A sister's waiting for him to return home. Oh my god, dude, this scene, not gonna lie to you, when I read this part, it just kind of hits deep though, because like, he never really got a chance to spend more time with the mom until, well, never really got a family feeling that she'd been having since she was a kid, because, you know, her mom was single, and she her mom had to work hard, and she had to do things herself, but now she has a family, and now she has someone to talk to, aka Yuta, you can already see that these two are starting to grow even closer now, sharing their you know, emotions and their backstories and stuff. And I can guarantee you that the best part about the light novel is those two engagement. The way they realistically share the feelings for each other. Oh my god, this is why I love reading this at light novel, man, even though I only first read the first volume. Oh, he did it for her, man. He repeating the battle for her so that, you know, she won't feel awkward bathing the same war as him. That is so kind of him. Oh, oh yes, me, Isis, son. The first, you know, good night exchange he had with her. That is what you call a good sign. And she replied back to it. That's a good sign that their relationship is going smoothly, man. He left the light on for her too. Oh, 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 oh my god. What a start to the season, man. By the way, I already saw the opening on YouTube, on TikTok apparently. They didn't upload it on TikTok without any problems. So, oh my god. What a start. What a start. Oh my god. I absolutely loved it, man. By the way, I missed out on the post credit scene. Sorry about that. But the post credit scene is basically she writing a diary because she actually keeps track of her daily life and sharing her feelings inside of it. And if you guys know, want to know what she writes inside the diary, just wait until like episode 3 or 4. Because basing for what I can see so far, I think they are adapting two and a half chapters per episode so far i mean this could be the third chapter but i feel like this is like i remember correctly the bad scene that he you know he offered her for, to her like they saw in this last part of the episode is around the later part of chapter two so well either way though you can say that saki keep things in her diary and gotta say the diary has some indication especially in the first volume that she's starting to view yuta in a little bit more, little bit more different way than a brother relationship, if you know what I mean. But I can guarantee you that this is gonna be peak, man. Because 
the one thing i love about this anime or oh, well, i'm just gonna refer to the light novel because so far they're doing a fantastic job with the adaptation like they're adapting really well with the flow of the story from meeting the you know saki saki and her mom to the point when she moved into the apartment and to the part where she and yuta are having this sort of like new sibling exchange and leading on to a very wholesome moment between you know those two saying the fact that don't be so awkward around each other just be yourself and stuff like that i'm very happy they included that those dialogue into the first episode i know there are some cuts you know content from the light novel but from what i can see is very minor man like holy cow they didn't really cut out too much you know important stuff they only cut out some minor stuff like you know the part where <clears throat> utah was doing his you know job and stuff like that the the, fir the, the first encounter they had with each other at the start of the episode they were they were a little bit more to it though in terms of the inner dialogue and stuff like that but they added in the most important dialogue so that's good for me already man so yeah, let's just say that this is what you call one of the more realistic approach to a proper, well, step-sibling relationship. Because you can see most of the animes we watch, like Arrow Manga Sensei, Domestina Kanujo, um, uh, two years ago, uh, my stepmom, sister, daughter is my ex-girlfriend, and whatever that anime called again. It always ends up very cringy, awkward, and you know those two overreact and stuff like that. Well, the one two years ago because they were dating before, but still though, like the way you know step sibling being handled in anime, and mostly trying to get people very cringy and seeing how they, you know, very you know just being very sexy to each other, very awkward. But this one though, no, definitely not, man. You can see that they are very calm very con very controlled and ma mainly trying their best to not to well stand out too much showing their their you know their dark side of the personality they're trying their best to be polite like a proper japanese would do and most importantly how they share the conversation for each other and that is the one thing i really like about this series from the light novel is because they shared uh, moments like this where they share the feelings how they really felt for each other how saki setting some you know quick standards that you know telling yuta so you should understand the meaning of that because i won't have any great expectation from you so you so i want you to do the same for me that that is what i want to see from love you know people moving into a new family is that they don't expect you to be like you know great they don't want to expect you to be very polite they just expect you to like just be yourself and you want and i want you to expect that to to me too like just be yourself to me and i'll be yourself myself to you and don't have to be very like oh i don't know about you man i don't know about you. dude no they are mature polite and this is what i call realistic approach to a proper step saving relationship and why i can say the fact that utah he never really show signs of overreaction like we saw like you no know, those mc boys in love like step sibling relationship where they say oh my god i have a beautiful step sister he's just like oh i have a, I have a beautiful step sister and i need to make sure that i i, I treat her properly as a family member now so he he just be a very normal re reaction to it i think he's almost like me if, well to be honest i never really have a step sibling so i don't really understand the feeling but it's definitely very relatable if you think about it that you know you don't really overreact when you find out that your marriage your, your father or mother new partner has a kid around your same age or at least two years younger than you or older than you you can say you usually just act normal mature and this is what utah demonstrating right now and that that is the reason why i really enjoy this anime or like reading the light novel because he just trying his best to be as normal as possible not being very cringy like we see a lot of the mc does but the fact that isa is allowing him to be inside a room talking uh, uh, like talking in front of her like you know dude the way she dressed though by the way i did i have to say saki the way she why the reason why she's dressed like that is to is because she wants to demonstrate that she has a personality which will explain more about that next episode of course but i'm just saying this right now the reason why she's dressed like that like good dude girls you see girls in short short pants and showing the belly button and showing the shoulders almost half naked oh man you do you really know that they have a personality all right and i definitely can say that saki right here she 
doesn't she's not scared she's not scared to be embarrassed man this is why i love her a lot too because her personality is strong from the inside man holy cow she's don't get me wrong she's still a girl but the way that she try not to go into this so cliche you know mc girl so you know personality is really what i really love about this series man is that saki right here is what i call a proper mature girl that i want to date like wow she is one of the ideal girls, I would say, for my sort of liking. But of course, you can say the fact that, you know, she allow, uh, you know, the one of the disadvantages of helping girls unpack, which girls usually don't allow guys to unpack, but she's willing to allow Yuta to unpack because she trusts him. She trusts him because Yuta showed this side of him at the start of when they first met. She already likes him for that. So that's why she feels confident around You don't see a lot of girls like what Saki's doing, right? Of being feeling confident that guys can help her unpackage her stuff is that. But, you know, as consequences, you can lead on to this. But at least she laughed it out though. She didn't say, yeah, and die. Yeah, get out of here. She didn't say that. She just laughed it off. She, she just say, uh, she, she, she understood that it was an accident. So... Oh my god, bro. I, this is why Saki is so good. Man. This is why I really like watching her, uh, reading her personality in the light novel. Of course, we got the senpai, which I'm going to tell you guys that she's going to have a lot more involvement in this relationship than you expect her to be. So, oh my god, can't wait to see more senpai in the future coming episode. But, well, the one, this scene right here, not going to lie, when I read the light novel, it actually felt very emotional. Well, of course, the anime went the extra mile by adding an unnecessary amount of like, the sad VGMs like we see straight out of a, a Shinkai movie or out of a Ghibli movie. Like, holy cow, the BGM in this anime is... Uh, is <laughs> it was really necessary to go this emotional, man. Like, when I read the Lionable, it was... Ne I didn't really feel that this so BGM was really needed. I feel like I know a very slow BGM, like some piano music would do, but bro... It went so deep with the song, man. Like, what the hell, man? Oh my god. This is why I can say that the anime is taking an extra mile for this adaptation, man. And especially with the animation. Even though I'm not too much of a fan of this animation style, but at least they did at least they did a fantastic job with the pacing of the story. They did really well with some of the scenery shots, especially this scene right here. The, the this scene right here, like the way that Yuta feel very well, she he doesn't look happy. But he is very happy from this side that he has the, at least have someone waiting for him back home. And that person is Saki, man. Oh my god. So, the biggest question that many people will be asking me after this episode is, where I will continue reacting to this anime for the rest of the season? Well, it's down to you guys. You to like the video, comment the video, or comment for the you know, my reaction and stuff like that. And, you know, just showing some good reception. Because on a Thursday, there is this... Ichi Harum and the two goddess cafe and then there's two more isekai animes which I don't really have any you know excitement for but let's just say it's between this and Ichi Harum now because like this one I read the light novel so I pretty much know what's gonna happen for the next three episodes but it's just that I don't know it's do you guys want to see a light novel reader react to an anime, a, a, a series like this you know like you know you already expect me to know what will happen well to be honest I did have a day I lied, but that was what I call a passion reaction but this one though is more like me just sharing my thoughts as a, as a light novel reader to the anime adaptation and usually not a lot of people are really a fan of it but i don't know i feel like you know if people really want me to do more of this then i i'm, I'm willing to commit my time to do it but for now though i would say i really enjoyed the first episode and i really looking forward to the second episode even though the fact that you know the first episode was a really solid start nothing really major happening other than them becoming step siblings but for me though this is what i call a perfect start to their relationship nothing too cringy but very normal and slow and just you know set the set the scene between yuta and saki and i can guarantee that the relationship will, will be tested even more in the next two episodes so, with that said, hope you guys enjoy my reaction to Gimai Seikatsu. And if you guys want me to do more reaction to this, make sure you guys comment below and like the video. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next, hopefully, next week for episode 2, Second Impression Reaction. Bye-bye.